All right, it's time to hit chest. 315 bench. We're hitting a PR today. Hopefully we're able to hit this. All the work we have done for the past five years leads up to this moment right here. My discipline, my will to not eat out, my sleep schedule. Well, my sleep schedule could be better, but I have been committed to getting good amount of sleep. Probably, I average probably about five to six hours of sleep. This is where it all adds up. Today's a day because I feel that today is a day I could push that 315 bench. I don't know what it is. My brain keeps on telling me 315 bench. That's all that's all pops up in my head. We're gonna go for that. Two things I wanna say before we go off, just to let off some steam. The other day my car broke down and I was devastated. I checked my, I popped the trunk, opened it up, and saw that my battery fucking exploded. Exploded, it was just leaking everywhere. So I was like so freaking mad, I, I just wanted to like fucking jump into oncoming traffic. But then I called up my roommate Luke, he um, he helped me get a new battery, we, uh, we went to the nearest Walmart, I drop down 200 bucks for a battery out of my own pocket and um it was just awful i was like telling myself in my head wow this is real life man shit's brutal so after that we came home i was just trying to uh, keep it all together because that day i also had to go to my house where my parents live and um, my dad has had a court hearing and I had to take him to the court because you know he doesn't understand English as much we got there they completely rescheduled the court date I was so mad I drove two hours to Jupiter took my dad to court only to find out the prosecutor they weren't there so how it works is that there's supposed to be like a certain charge that the prosecutor sets because my dad got in a hit and run accident he did not stop and a police officer completely witnessed the whole thing from the side and my dad did not have a valid driver's license as he was driving and not only that he did not have insurance on his car so his car got towed to the impound lot his he and he was arrested and and he was taken to jail so that shit happened it was just awful i just could not believe what was happening it was the biggest reality check it, it, it's like you're just like having fun you know like you're just hanging out in a field of grass mesmerized by the trees and the leaves the sunshine the beautiful clouds in the sky you're just in peace right and all of a sudden you see a meteor up in the sky heading right towards you boom fucking explodes right on top of your head i have to go through that now i'm back here at orlando um came here a, a day ago now i'm ready to get back to the grind normal functions are in progression once again now today is the day i bench 315 today will be the day if today's not the day i'm gonna fucking jump off this parking garage and just fucking kill myself so I'll see you there. So right now we are sitting at a, at a table. I usually drink like a liter of water before my workout. So my cells are pumped with water and ready to go. After this, we're going to do a couple of stretches. Uh, it's good to stretch before and after your workout just so your muscles don't cram up and you're able to fully express the range of motion during a rep. Alright guys, so today we're doing 225 warm up. After that we're going to do 275 and 300 and then 315. Luckily we get 315 up.
trembling. It's right here. The excruciating pressure of a titan about to fall on my face. has been achieved. I would like to thank five years of straight dedication, straight discipline. All the times I've resisted going to McDonald's, Taco Bell, it all came to add up to this moment. And I saw that if you just have a little bit of willpower to resist the things that give you pleasure. It just adds up to something so big in the future that you can't even like, like when I hit that PR, I can't even tell you, a giant bucket of dopamine got splashed over my freaking face. Felt insane. So what do we do from here? Hmm. Well, my deadlift is 315. My squat is 315. And now my bench is 315. So that means, should I compete? Maybe I should. Because that kind of tells you something, right? If your bench, deadlift, and squat is 315, then it might be a sign to take lifting to the next level. So this is my plan now. I'm gonna finish school, get a job after school, save up money, and then I'm gonna start competing. You know, if you're struggling to get your bench up, just bench three times a day, three times a week, three times an hour, literally just bench. Just bench your heart out. If you want your bench to go up, just bench on your arm day and your chest day. Train power on your chest day and then train volume on your arm day. And you'll see how fast your bench goes up. Now I'm assuming you have an arm day and if you don't have an arm day then I highly suggest that you start incorporate incorporating an arm day. Tonight I have to help my roommate Luke out with getting his car back from uh, from the mechanic store. So I will see you then. Peace. So we are here in the Lincoln Town Car made in 1995. This car <laughs> See how comfortable it is, over the is extremely luxurious for its time <laughs> and pretty advanced in the um, in the technology that it was built with. So that is pretty awesome. Is Lincoln made by another country? No, they're made by Ford. It goes Mercury's in the middle of the road, which is discontinued, and then Lincoln's luxury brand Ford. I see. So it's an American yes, brand? It wow. is. It's a luxury Ford. That's awesome. Yeah, Lincoln is, wow, amazing. I gotta get a Lincoln myself yeah. one day. This is actually the best year they ever made. Yeah, I probably have to sell my soul. For, to get a car like this. Well, when they were new, they were very expensive. Yeah. 
All right, so we out here in Wawa. What are we getting? Guess? Yeah. Okay. Can I just follow you around? Yeah. Okay. All right. So we are going to Wawa. Yeah. We're getting gas. Oh, oh, dude, you gotta get one of the um, milkshakes. Is there a... Uh, oh, that looks good. Strawberry cheesecake. Um, strawberry cheesecake. Strawberry birthday cake. I'll go with the strawberry cheesecake. Cheesecake. All right, so for me, I might get the strawberry cheesecake. Yeah. Look at this, baby. That on the front. <laughs> Show them on the back. It's interesting. Yeah, open Does it the, come in? Open Executive the higher up is the signature on top is the Cartier, which this design looks kind of like Jekyll and Hyde. Boom. Design. That's awesome. Yeah, look at the amount of space here. <laughs> it's like a whole hot tub. Like, <laughs> yeah. You can like fill this up with water. <laughs> like, put some people back here. Yeah. Listen to how quiet it closes. <laughs> you don't slam it, like zoom up. Oh yeah. Luke is going to capture himself some ladies tonight. And... <laughs> yeah. So we got our strawberry cheesecake milkshakes. Uh, the lady messed up our drink twice. <laughs> yes. So we were there longer than we should have been, but... Oh, you made your milkshake, Luke? It's very good. Very good? Ten? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think it's the best flavor. Ten, for sure. Mm -hmm. Tastes like sweet dreams. Yeah. We made it, yo. We got the car. That's Luke in front of me. That was the car we were in Seven earlier. Seven-tenths of a mile ahead on the route. Right lane blocked. One-half of a mile long. This thing won't shut up. Ugh, smells like fish. Oh, we're next to IHOP. Never mind. Man, I just realized cars are kind of like sperm cells. You know, we're swimming towards something, only to find out we're at the end of the napkin and there's nothing there. 